Hi y'all, welcome once again to the channel Esoteric Cloud Surfer here on Ezosu Gaming and today, right now, we are ready for some more VGC content here on the channel so if you hyped, leave a like if you enjoy the team, if you enjoy the content if you don't, uh, leave a dislike and remember that we also do uh, Pokemon Unite live streams here in the channel so if you're interested about that just go ahead and uh, check yourself in the live streams okay so let's participate in the first match of the day did you did your did our did our rank rose? <sighs> oh, they have no restricted. That's interesting. So they have. Urshifu, if it's dark type, it's dangerous for the Lugia, Dusclops, it's a Trick Room Setter for the Turtonator, how can we deal with the Turtonator? Mm. Tyranitar, Tyranitar actually seems, seems good if we take the Urshifu and Tapu Fini out of the way, yeah, Urshifu and Tapu Fini, Rillaboom Lugia as the lead. Grimsnarl, Will Boom, Lugia, Titar. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you everybody that is watching, your support is great, oh, your support is greatly appreciated, yes, but it's water type Urshifu, so it's not dark, we don't need to worry too much about that. So here they, oh, I think they are going to switch out Urshifu into the Turtonator. So they can use Trick Room. We can Spirit Break knock off the Dusclops. Okay, I like that. Let's go. Yeah, they withdrew the Urshifu for the Turtonator. They were expecting the Great. For the Indeedy. Oh, that way I, I couldn't aggressive light. Okay, so they have Indeedee in the back. We use knockoff. Good damage. We take the Eviolite. Okay. So I want to switch into the Tyranitar here. Our Tyranitar is, is slow, so probably it will be faster then the Urshifu under Trick Room. So let's go, Tita. Okay, they taunt the Grimmsnarl, that's cool. Don't worry too much about that. Expanding Force, it doesn't affect anyone on our side. So great switching. The train target there, it was a great switching. We take no damage this turn. So infinitely Spirit Break into the Dusclops and Crunch into the Indeedee. I think there is no... Okay, the Urshifu. 
A Turtonator. Hmm. The Will O Wisp. The Titar. Get afraid of the Titar. Please lower the defense. No, we do not. The Sclops is out. The Tartanitar is burned. That's not good at all. So they have leftovers. Okay. Indeedy back again. Hmm. What they plotting? Psychic Turban will be off in two turns. So I want to. Oh, Grim Sound is still taunted. Yes, it is for two turns still. Okay. I want to get rid of the Indeedy. I don't want redirection. I don't want uh, terrain. The second terrain being up, right? Who protects? No! Indeed, he protects. They are in defense. It's cool, Boogie can pass through that with our special attack. So, not bad. The, tri the trick room sh should be over soon. They are, they are burning their own trick room out so they can use the Urshifu, I believe, right? It makes sense to me. We, we still we still burn infinitely. We can heal the burn right now. Last turn of Trick Room, as I want to double up into the Indeedy again. If they switch the Urshifu out for the Turtonator, that will be their best play. Sacrifice the Indeedy, bring the Urshifu in, and do damage into the Tita. But then we have the Rillaboom. And they don't have Indeedy. They, they go for the double, they fail. They are on defense there again. Oh, they have body press, right? Okay, we crunch. Damn, still a lot. Awesome. I think it's no bulk in DD. I just have train is that strong. So that's alright. I think Grimstone shook shook uh, off the taunt right now. Nice. Nice. Both trick room and terrain go off. So Rillaboom is free here to go and knock out. I mean, I think the Lugia is in a great position here. Right. So let's reflect up. And the Sandstorm, perfect, will die just in the, after this turn. So it, it will do damage into the, into the Urshifu, right? Because if it's not, I want to high horse power it. Just to break that focus sash. I do be faster anyway. Okay, we reflect there. But we are taking no damage. That's that what that's what our opponent did wrong. No damage into our team. Like only right now. Nice. Yeah, they have body press. I knew that. So, okay, train that goes away. And yes, the, sand, the sandstorm subsides. So, it's great for us here that we did damage into the Urshifu. Because if he has the focus sash uh, intact, it will be a different game right now. So, let's go with the Lugia Rillaboom 
I think aggressive like aggressive like uh, they can protect, but it's okay. A body press from the Terminator is enough to kill because he has two spe he has two iron defense, right? So let's combine with the Lugia here and aggressive live into the Urshifu. I'm pretty sure they, they're gonna protect, but I wanna see that Kalk. I wanna see that damage roll of the Terminator into the uh, into the Rillaboom. No, they don't protect. Okay. Maybe they don't have protect. You got a critical hit, I think. It, no, it surely didn't matter. Because you have the Miracle Seed, but thank you anyway. So we come home, come mind there. They body press the river, the Lugio. Okay. I think we can just knock off Earth Power here. I don't know if Turtonator has a lot of special defense. I think it, it does not. So Earth Power and uh, knock off. Sounds good to me. Oh, great damage. Burning Jealousy. Okay. Yeah, you're not doing enough damage. That's the problem of this uh, opponent team. You don't do enough damage. Okay, we win. Let's go. First game of the day. It is a victory. Let's go, let's go. Pretty smooth match. Oh, nice. Thank you. Seven hundred. Let's go, climbing up. Oh, Mian Chao. Mian Chao is, is actually um, a, a very unused Pokemon, but it's really strong, it's really good. Many people sleeping on Mian Shao. So, we have that Ferrothorn, which is very dangerous for our team. If we lose the Entei, we can touch the Ferrothorn. So we need the Entei. We have the Suicune, the Shadow Rider, the Tobu Keys, the Incineroar, and the Mian Shao. Hmm. Raichu here is good for some paralysis. I want the Grim Snout for screams. The room here is good against the Suicune, but that's it. I mean, the grassy level is always good. Raichu, it's good for Suicune. I ah, mean, it's it's too good. The grassy level is too good against the the Shadow Rider and against the Suicune, and even against the Mian Shao. The Fake Out is also good. Raichu will be, will be good against the Suicune and Tuggies, but. I was questioning the damage output of the right shoe. I think it's not good enough. Mian Shao is Sinroar. Okay, so we cool here. Here's some Rillaboom. Mm, we get intimidated, but that's alright. I think aggressive gliding to Mian Shao will, stu will still do a lot of damage. And we can see, because if they flare blitz the Rillaboom right now, most likely they have the um, Suicune in the back. So here I want to reflect how oh, we can protect. We can protect because the Mian Shao will be faster, so the fake out will go into the Rillaboom. 
anyway. Then shall fake out. Ah, oh, into the Grimms now, damn. And they flare blitz. Into the... What? What play was that? Double up into Grimms now, why? Here, no, I just want to light screen. So Lugia resists Shadow Rider, the Color X Shadow Rider. Next turn. Are you afraid of... Green Snarl? Hmm, that was weird. Maybe they thought I was going to protect the Rillaboom? They withdrew me and shall. Oh, they have the Ferrothorn. Oh boy. But if, if they kill the Green Snarl here is good, we get a free switch in. Flare Blitz into... Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Into the River Room. River Room there was on a tough spot. Okay. So we want to bring the Entei in, <coughs> obviously. And our Entei can be... Um, faked out. Which is not cool. I don't have an ability patch. Let's go Entei. I'm feeling my course of action is too obvious. I want to reflect. And Sacred Fire. Most likely they go for a protect, a protect on Ferrothorn, not just they switch in. But they best switch in, they protect, yeah. The parting shot now with the Incineroar. It was too obvious, but I can't let that pass. A sacred fire, we go into the protect and they go for a, a flare blitz actually. Okay. Let's go, Woogie. So beautiful, though we are right. So let's calm mind and sacred fire again. Because if they switch, whatever is coming in is eating a powerful sacred fire. If they don't switch, they lose the feral thorn and we in a good position. Okay, so what? It, it's the Mian Shaw it, with the focus sash, right? Burn. It's not enough. And no burn. Parting shot into the Calyrex. Okay, they're going to fake out Lugia to break its multi scale ability. But we have Calm Mind, so that shouldn't be a problem. But they are going to fake out Lugia because they, they know they can fake out Entei, so that they might uh, think that as well. We can extreme speed the Mian Shao. And then there is no fake out. Right? We can extreme speed the Mian Shao. Let's see if that works. Yeah, so there is no fake out. Awesome. We go for the Astral Barrage. Okay, if they sub, it will be worse. And they should survive with the salt vest. Great! And they will survive another one. Aeroblast into the Calyrex. The life orb. Great damage, Luya. Great damage from the Luya. Great resistance there. And. Our Entei just resisted that really, really well. Maybe it was a, a low roll. You, also has, you are also a Salt Vest that, that obviously infinitely contributes to our resistance, but I, I was impressed. I 
was impressed indeed. So let, let's learn to power the incineroar there and uh, crunch the Calibrex. Okay, I don't want to miss a sacred fire. Oh, they can fake out now, that's true. Maybe I should... Oh yes, they fake out the Lugia, which is good. The Psyshock is still not enough. And we have Crunch, especially for the Calyrexes. Great. Actually, Lugia does very well against Calyrex Shadow Rider because we are behind the screens, we have a uh, Calm Mind, and we have our multi scale ability, which is like um, a Focus Sash, right? So, yeah, we can double up into the Incineroar. But I think another power just does the trick, and just in case they don't protect the Ferret Thorn, we clean it. Now, the bad thing is the Earth Power does not do the trick, but I think it does. They almost have half health. Maybe the, I think that they don't expect the Earth Power from Lugia. And if Isenora survives, we can just Extreme Speed it next turn. They don't protect because it's enough with the two intimidates. Oh, but the burn there is perfect. Earth power, is it enough to take down the Incinero? Beautiful, let's go, Lugia. The Leech Seed. I think they, what they thought was that I thought that they were to go for the Protect. So, I will double up into Incineroar because they also don't expect the Earth Power so they can maintain the Third Thorn healthy with the Leech Seed, but actually no. We attack it and now we can go for an Arrow Blast and a Sacred Fire. We can miss both, but still we have a lot of turns to work here. They protect, they earn some health back. Okay, understandable. They also have the burn, so their healing back strategy is not very good. It's not very powerful there. Oh, but they also have leftovers. Okay. So they are waiting for the end they miss. And they missing the Sacred Fire. Bro, they recovered a lot of health. I mean, it's still good. I really don't want to miss the Arrow Blast. But I want damage. Oh, we only got one more <laughs> sacred fire. Come on. They tried to go for the double protect, which was the best option they had. Because if they protect that, we get out of sacred fires. And then it's uh, a mess for us. But second game, second win. Let's go. Yeah, also, oh, let's let's check it out. Yeah, Focus Ash, Max Attack, Max Speed, with White Guard. Yeah, Incineroar, Incineroar with Taunt, we didn't saw that. Max Attack Incineroar, I like that. Feral Thorn with the... I don't like much that, that Feral Thorn set, but I never used Feral Thorn much, so I don't really know which the best fair turn set is, so I'm not going to judge there. The Toga Keys with Protect Follow Me, Dazzling Gleam and Heatwave, and it is a moderate Toga Keys. I think they are relying on the Super Luck critical hits to do more damage, okay. And last but not least, a bulky Calyrex Shadow Rider. But no, but no substitute. The plastic plot, bro. I highly, I highly doubt this team building. But let's continue. Okay, next, next game. It was really fast, and it is 
a stone journal team with Kyogre, with Groundon, I mean, the Executor, the Wisnikot, the Ditto, that's dangerous, and the Sigilith. They will use Gravity on Sigilith to make Lugia able to take rock type moves. Executor has Chlorophyll, they Tailwind, and then they copy my they copy my legendary and because they have to win they faster. <coughs> Is that it? I think we want the same team composition from the last match, to be honest. Stone Journal. Stone Journal has a, an ability that is kind of good, right? Because I don't remember what Stone Journal does. I think it's through its ability, some way, somehow. Stone Journal ground them. Hmm. Interesting. We want to reflect here. Is it pressing not enough to knock off the ground on? With the Miracle Seed, I'm not sure. I want to reflect. We also can fake out. But I think there is no... There is no good... There is no um, profit in that. But that Stone Journal worries me. Right? Because Anthem doesn't do much against it. I think the Groudon protects here, or they switch? They switch. I was just about to go for the Stone Journal there. Into the Executor, that's fine. Still, still good damage. Still good damage. Now, what the Stone Journal does? That's what I wanna know. Heat Crash? No way. No way. It's like a, a pseudo ground on. I just wanted to attack it. No way over there. Okay, Spirit Break there. It's okay. If we can knock it out, which I think they will protect. But we have to knock it off. Okay, they don't protect. It's enough. That's cool. Here the Executor might go for a Psychic and just knock the Solar Beam. The Solar Beam. Into the Lula Boom. It is enough. Maybe if we light screen, that's not enough. It's life form. Okay, I'm enjoying that team so far. It's really cool. Wow, great damage to the executor. And we have Ente. What? Did they have an Ente resist? Oh damn, I don't remember. They had the Wismicor, the Ditto, the Groundon, the Stone Journal, the Executor, Ditto, Stone Journal, Groundon, Executor. Wismicott, I don't bring the Entei, I think they didn't bring the Wismicott Nothing, okay, they bring the Groudon again We have Entei, Entei is great, the Secret Fire into Groudon You can get that burn, and the Sun actually helps us, right? So we Spirit Break here again, and we Secret Fire there We have Reflect up, right? So the Secret Blades should not be a knockout I'm not sure. They are... Bro, Blind Hypnosis. I don't believe it. Blind Hypnosis does the trick. But if I knew that, I would just... Extreme Speed. And we faster than the ground one. That's huge. But this Swords Dance there, I don't like it. We Spirit Break into the Executor. By Executor, no more tricks. Bro, that Blind Hypnosis was a brave move it was a brave move we have Lugia, they can't attack Lugia with the Precipice Blades, they can with Rock Slide so now they have the Wismicott, it's offensive Wismicott I'm sure can you put me to sleep Wismicott? I want to taunt you to the age 
Oh, they will tail win. Let's do damage and sacred. Oh, we can switch Lugia in. But having a uh, uh, slip and tail in the deck doesn't do anything for us. The moon blast. What? I'm not predicting anything right from them. Oh, Entei! Come on! Miss the Entei! Beautiful! We miss the Entei. Buy Grim's Snarl, thank you. Anyway. And it's offensive with Vicot, so now we have the Lugia. Entei, please wake up, man. It's time. So, I want to double up on the ground, I'm just in case Entei is still, still asleep. Because I think they tell win now. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> they want to knock out the ground, the Entei. And they miss again. I know, just doesn't affect Lugia. <laughs> That's right. Oh, big damage. Bro, that type knows this. Critical hit, let's go. No, no critical. So I think they want to, they will just rock slide. Bro, that that hit crash from the stone journal was so good. So good. Let's go. Moonblast, they break our multi-scale. Heat crash. Look, is heavy. That's not very much damage. Critical hit, come on. Damn it, Lugia. <laughs> I don't want to miss. I don't think enough power is enough. But I really don't want to miss an arrow blast. Right. Let's see how, how much moon blast does into Lugia. Oh, they sunny day. So the heat crash does more damage. That's smart. The heat crash. <laughs> Three, let's go, Lugia, don't miss. Okay, Robin goes down. The ending being two turns asleep as well wasn't helpful for us. Now, they should be focus sash, focus sash here. And if I, if I can't mind when they tailwind, I think we could have, have a better chance of winning. If they get the critical hit, come on! Okay, but it was all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to check out the Pokemon Unite livestream that we just had. Uh, today it was a blast. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, let me check out that team. Stone Journal, bro. It has actually very high attack, and it's actually kind of speedy for a rock type. They have gravity, so they can hit flank types with um, the precipice blades. That's, and they have white guard. Actually, really, really good. Was this a Japanese player? It is a Japanese player. Mm, interesting. I love Japanese players because they are very, very creative with their sets. I just really like that. Ground, max attack, max HP, well done. Yeah, okay, yeah. Bro, I not. Bro, it has 60 currency. How we. How we. How you. Ah, damn it. Uh, let me see your special attack. 191 is not bad. Okay. We taunt D2. Not on special defense. No, no. And the Sigil Leaf with gravity as well. And with hypnosis as well. So, with Titan Lens, that's cool. So, this player has one plan. This to hit flank types with ground type, with ground moves. Alright. It's cool, they got us. They got us. 
So guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, I wish you the best thoughts, ideas, feelings, emotions, and I wish you creativity, individuality, so you can maintain your sanity. Until the next time, as a 30 Cloud Surfer, surfing out. See you soon.